What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a crazy cool off meta team that features Appleton. Now, Appleton is one of the coolest Pokemon of all time. You take an apple pie, you take a dragon, you put them together, you get Appleton. This Pokemon is awesome. Who doesn't love apple pie? Especially with Thanksgiving around the corner, apple pie rocks. And if you don't like apple pie, you can stay, but get it together. Go eat some apple pie. It's phenomenal. Put, some, put a little whipped cream on it. Apple pie rocks. But Appleton over here is here to pair up with Poltegeist over here. And Poltegeist, really dope Pokemon. It has a signature move called Tea Time, which makes you eat any berry even if it's not triggered. So by using Appleton and Poltegeist, we can lead them, protect Appleton, pop a trick room with Poltegeist. Then the next turn, we can pop Tea Time, allowing Appleton to eat its berry with Ripen as his ability, getting a plus two boost in special attack being able to do a ridiculous amount of damage with Apple Acid and Dragon Pulse. Really cool combo, cannot wait to showcase it. But Appleton has a nice little Steel Terror type. It's got Protect, it's got Terror Blast, and then like I already mentioned, Dragon Pulse and Apple Acid. Our two Trick Room Setters for today are going to be Poltegeist and Hatterene. Hatterene also has a combo with Bronzor, if you guys can see him behind my face cam. Bronzor can uh, use Heavy Slam into Hatterene, pop Weakness Policy, and then set up Psychic Terrain for Hatterene to just go crazy with Expanding Forces. Our final two Pokemon going to be Primarina and Torkoal. Obviously, Torkoal is a great weather control Pokemon, especially within Trick Room. And Primarina, a great special attacker with Hyper Voice, Weather Ball, Alluring Voice, and Protect. You guys, want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this off-meta Appleton team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a half Trick Room team, half non Trick Room team. They got Rillaboom, Sneasler, and Dragapult, and then they got Ursaluna for Rigograph and Torkoal. Now, it's kind of weird because this could be imprisoned for Rigograph, but I'm going to say it's not, to be honest. I'm just going to go into Appleton and Pulte guys here right off the rip and try to pull off that combo. So, something I really like. I could also go into Torkoal. I think Torkoal's pretty solid here, especially if we do get off Trick Room. So, I'm going to end up doing that and then bring in Primarina. But would I rather have Hatterene? I think I'd rather have Hatterene. I think Hatterene is just such a solid Pokemon all around. So I'm going to go Hatterene. The one problem I do have with this team is like I have Hatterene, but I really need to pair it up with Bronzor to get like the most value out of it. Whereas you normally just pair it up with like Indeedee because its ability will set the terrain. But I will not have terrain. I can still expand it for us and can still do respectable damage. But I feel as without bronze or it's kind of a little bit lackluster. But still, I feel I think it's a great Pokemon due to its typing in this matchup. So I like it. We're gonna have seen Ursulina and Frigraph come out here. Um, are they gonna imprison my Trick Room? That could be terrible. That could be real bad. That could be real bad. But from here, I'm just gonna simply protect. I'm gonna protect and I'm gonna pop the nice little Trick Room. We'll see what Frigraph wants to do. Hopefully Frigraph's not imprisoning. That could get real ugly. And we're going to see a Terra type early pop out here. Is this going to be normal Terra on the Ursaluna bear? Probably. Yep. Ursaluna just going crazy today. This Pokemon just going crazy today. He's going crazy right off the rip. So Ursaluna's going to come out here. Helping Hand. Oh no. Helping Hand Hyper Voice? Helping Hand Blood Moon? What you got here? Protect from the Apple Pie. Blood Moon my Apple Pie. Hyper Voice. Pulte, guys. You got this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Pulte, guys. You got this, right? You got this! Let's go, Pulte. Let's go. And now we disabled Hyper Voice. That is huge. That is huge, Pulte. That is huge! Trick Room flies. We're ready to roll now. We are ready to roll. He's gonna look to Blood Moon me down. Um, Definitely gonna wanna pop tea time. We're gonna Room Service up. I want this special attack boost. And I could terrestrialize into Steel. Because I do believe. I do believe you're going to go for a Blood Moon into the Apple Pie slot. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm, I think I'm going to Dragon Pulse into that slot. Like, who could you swap into? Dragon Pulse is definitely the call. I'm going to terrestrialize into Steel. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to pop a Tea Time. A little bit of Tea Time action. There is a chance that you swap Ursaluna, but I'd rather get off some damage here. So I'm going to Terrasalize and Steel because, again, like if Ursaluna survives this shot, the choice of move has got to be Blood Moon instead of Earth Power into my into my Apple Pie. Like It's got to be simple. It's pretty simple. So there's that. Tea Time's going to fly here. Everybody eat up. Everybody eat up. 
Everybody eat up. Ripen gonna come out here. Nom nom nom. Get that plus two on special attack. The Dragon Pulse gonna launch. Oh, apple pie. So close. There's the blood moon I was looking for. There's the blood moon. Still gonna do respectable damage, but we're gonna be able to soak this. Still does good damage. He's gonna die out the life orb. Now, are you canceling out Trick Room? That's the real question. Are you canceling out Trick Room? I feel like Furgraf is definitely canceling out Trick Room here. I don't know. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you're cooking here. Now you're gonna go for a second. That's fine. That's actually really fine. So I keep my Apple Ton. It's plus two. I curse Body Psychic before we go. That is huge. And this thing actually has, what is it, the Metal Herb? Which is crazy. It works out perfectly for it. <laughs> but it's all right. Ursaluna gone. Great Terra on our end. We can now go into Torkoal, who can freely erupt here. And they're gonna send out Torkoal as well. How dare you? How dare you send out Torkoal? I gotta send out Torkoal. So Torkoal comes out here for us. Um... Who's Torkoal? That's my Torkoal drowning up. Actually, that's their Torkoal. That's their Torkoal. There's no way. It's actually a speed tie. It's gotta be a speed tie. So my Torkoal's as slow as it possibly can get. It's gotta be a speed tie. It has got to simply be a speed tie. I'm gonna end up protecting my Apple Ton. And I'm just gonna go for an eruption. Helping hand comes out here from Frigoraph. Can my my Torkoal go first, please and thank you? Please and thank you. Can my Torkoal go first? Is this my Torkoal? No, it's, it's their Torkoal. Mm, no. So their eruption's gonna do a lot more damage than my eruption. So they're winning the speed tie. And <laughs> my Torkoal doesn't even survive. Appleton, what's your speed? You're, you're not in 45. Oh, man. It's getting real ugly real fast. It's getting real ugly real fast. Yep, we're not going to make it. Nice little speed tie loss. If my eruption came out first, that would have been huge. Because, yeah, my Torkoal is as slow as it possibly can be. It's as slow as a Torkoal could possibly be, unless it was room service. No EVs. Yeah, we, we, we just lost to the speed tie. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul. Really does. Um, I mean, I guess I could try to Dragon Pulse. But, I mean, Helping Hand Eruption is going to come out here again. And it's going to be game, set, match. What can I even do? Cancel that Trick Room. Maybe give that a try. Protect. Again. Cancel that Trick Room. <laughs> that's, our, that's our only call. That's our only call. But match number one going to go to our opponent here. Pretty simple. Oh, man. Really want to thrive out with Appleton. We kind of did. I mean, early on. Once they brought out Torkoal and, and won that speed tie, it was, it was tough news for us. But Eruption comes out here. If it was KO and Torkoal, it's KO and Hatterene. We failed to protect anyway. And there it is. 0-1 to get this video started. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to bounce back. Moving on to our second match. And we're looking to bounce back here in match number two. We're 0-1 going up against a tough rain squad here. We do have Torkoal to control the weather, which is good. But I feel as if we lead our Appleton and Poltegeist combo again. It can actually work out this time. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go Appleton. We're going to go pull the guys early on here. We're going to bring Torkoal in the back end because, again, weather control is going to be huge. And then do I finish it off with Hatterene? Hatterene could be good. Same thing with Primarina. They're both pretty solid here. I think Hatterene's going to be a little bit better. So I am going to end up going Hatterene. So same squad as last time. We just need our Torkoal to outspeed. That's the big part. That is the big part. So Weather War is going to be a tough customer when it comes to this matchup. But again, if we get out Torkoal at the right time after Trick Room set up, or maybe just have Appleton thrive out, we can win this match. We can definitely win this match. But I knew this team was going to be a tough team to absolutely grab some wins with, considering, again, we're higher up in Master Tier. So going up against these guys is tough. But Pelper Arch Luna is going to fly out here. Um, I'm just going to protect the Apple Tongue because I could see a Hurricane flying here alongside with Electro Shot. So I'm just going to protect and I am going to end up popping this trick. Let's do it. Let's do it. They could see me actually swapping in here as well. So maybe they just swap Pelipper. There's a chance that they swap Pelipper, but I think it's either swap Pelipper or Hurricane into Apple Pie. I think that's their two calls. They could go for a Dragon Move. That is a possibility. But no swaps comes out here. Please show me somebody is attacking the apple pie. Because if they double down to the T, we kind of just lose this match. And there's the hurricane. Cool. We call mine. Hurricane blocked. And then electro shot into Pulte? Yeah. Electro shot into Pulte. Um, Pulte, I think you soaked this. I really do. I really do. This Pokemon is super bulky. You guys seen it in the last matchup. It's not stab damage from Archelon. So I do think you soaked this shot. 
awesome. Easily. Poltergeist is pretty bulky Pokemon. The Cursed Body Electro Shot, too, which is just massive. The Cursed Body is so nice to have. So I end up doing that. Um, we could Terrasilize the Apple Pie here. Because I have to go for tea time. So I'm going to Terrasilize you, and I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse and Arch Ludon. So I might just go for a Dragon Move here. Could just attack this Pelipper. I think there's a chance Pelipper swaps. I'm gonna go after Archaludon. <clears throat> so tea time, terrestrializing the Appleton, popping this berry, and we're gonna go right after this Archaludon. Archaludon definitely soaks this this first shot just because of how much HP it's at. But I think this is a good turn for us because I'm kind of where I'm at right now is I'm hoping that they they KO my Pulte guys after this turn, and I'm able to get out my Torkoal at the right time. He has a protecting Pelipper, so again, good call on Aran. Great call on Aran to attack this Arch Ludon. Key time launching. Beautiful. And I think you want to go for a Dragon move into my into my Appleton. So we're pulling off this combo. Hopefully doing a little bit more work this time. And Dragon Pulse going to launch. Great damage. Halfing it up. Another one will KO that. Um, I might double down on the Pelipper next turn. Really depends what they want to do here. But Dragon Pulse going to fly on his end. And we're soaking that pretty well. So again, I can Dragon Pulse that slot. I could end up hard swapping now into Torkoal, or I could double down to Pelipper. I'm going to double down to Pelipper. I think now is the right time to double down to Pelipper. Now, who could you swap into, though? You have no Fairy Pokemon, which is good. I like Dragon Pulse above all else, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to Dragon Pulse, and I am just going to rip a Shadow Ball into this slot. Looking just to get rid of Pelipper here. Because again, if I could get rid of Pelipper and just have my Torkoal thrive out here, it'd be really nice. Plus, I think they switch on who they're attacking with Arch Luton. I think they slide it over to hold the guys. There's a chance they can go for Body Press, but I think we're fine. But he ends up swapping. He is going to go into Incineroar here. So Incineroar is going to have to take this nice little Dragon Pulse. And now comes Shadow Ball. Now Shadow Ball is going to do minimal damage. And Dragon Pulse gonna launch. How much damage is Dragon Pulse doing? Great damage. It's big time damage. And Body Press flies. Can you soak this? Apple Pie doesn't. Alright. Now, who do we go into from here? That's the real question. Who do we go into? I could go into Torkoal and just erupt, but then you swap into Pelipper. Um, I think I just gotta go into Hatterene and kinda just. kinda just. attack, right? I mean, you got Fake Out ready to roll, which is a slight issue. You're going to send it into Hatterene, which is, again, a slight issue. And then you probably just want to go for Flash Cannon. I can't protect. Go for Ally Switch, though. I'm going to go for Ally Switch. There's Fake Out. I think he's doubling down into this slot. This might work out a tad bit better for us. Mm, I don't know. Gonna come down to the wire. Hatterene's gonna flinch and you're gonna flash cannon this slot. So we do protect our Hatterene, which is really great news. Pulte guy's gonna die out here. Um, if I had protect, I would have protected that turn. I would have easily protected that turn. And Archelor is able to electro shot again, but we're bringing back out this weather. So if I had to guess, they are gonna swap into obviously Pelper here. Um, I still might as well just erupt. I think I still should erupt. Just erupt and dazzle gleam. It's gotta be my play. You're gonna swap Incineroar. No, Arch Luna gets a swap. Alright, that's fine. Helper comes out here. They got weather control for the rest of the match. Um, let's see how much damage this eruption can do. It should KO the Incineroar, right? It does. Okay, so respectable damage onto the Pelper. We're not choice into it to that, so that's good. And I'm able to launch a Dazzle Gleam here. The Gleam comes out and about. It does great damage, taking out Pelipper. And now they're down to their final two Pokemon. And I think we have... Do we have one turn left in Trick Room? No, Trick Room ends. Trick Room ends, and I really need it. I think our only way of winning this game... Even though I think it's over, I think you Wave Crash into... I think you're Wave Crash and Flash Cannon. But our only way of winning this game is going to be a simple protect into a trick room. 
It really is. It really is the only way to win this game. And they're gonna end up trash last. I think they're gonna wave crash flash can. Like I said, yo, this team is so tough to pull off a win with, but I'm having a blast using it. They end up going into Water Terra. They're definitely looking to rip up the Torkoal. Hopefully they make a mistake or something. Do not flash cannon my Hatterene. So we protect the Torkoal. A little bit of protect action. There's an Aqua Jet. Hold up. Give me a chance. Double down on Torkoal here. Double down on Torkoal. No, there's the flash cannon. Smart call on their end. Smart call. Hatterene soaks. I love you, Hatterene. And weakness policy pops. Oh my lord. Hatterene, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Aqua Jet can still fly here, which is really scary. But I'm going to have to hope that Dazzling could just KO. And I'm going to double down the Basket Legion. Who's the Aqua Jet, though? Oh, man. This is tough because, oh, you a mm, Aqua Jet, man. I'm going to Earth Power to Arch Luna and ho hopefully KO you. If I can, I'd rather go for Dazzling Gleam. I mean, you can Aqua Jet anybody you want. Thank you, Aqua Jet. The Hatterene. Who are you going after? It's a Torkoal. Can you soak this Torkoal? Torkoal soaks. Hold up. Give me a shot. Just give me a chance. Earth Power launches. Brings you down low enough. Dazzling Gleam. How much damage are you doing? How much damage are you doing, Dazzling Gleam? How much damage are you doing? Oh my lord. Down to the wire. Down to the wire here. Down to the wire. Can Earth Power KO? That's the real question. I'm gonna go Earth Power. I'm gonna go with Dazzling Gleam. Down to the wire. They're forced to Aqua Jet. He's gonna Aqua Jet who? Go into Torkoal. Go into Torkoal. Smart play. Go into Hatterene. Can Torkoal win it? Torkoal, get it done. Get it done right here, right now. I know it's not stab, but you got this. Let's go. What a win. What a win. Hatterene definitely clutching up. Soaking up that flash cannon. Being able to pop trick room. And everything works out perfectly. So GG's to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. All I can say is, wow, what a second match. Came down to the wire. My girl had Arene soaking up that shot. And on top of that, popping weakness policy. We probably should have sent our first Earth Power into the Basque Legion slot. That probably would have worked out a little bit better for us. But in the end, we won. We won regardless. Thank you, Hatterene. But Appleton did pretty well in that last match. I kind of want to use it again, to be honest with you guys. I really don't feel like using the Bronze Word combo. I just don't like it that much. I really don't. Plus, Hatterene's weakness policy. We've seen it in that last match. We're going to go in with the same lead and look to do it again. Appleton got off some good time damage in that last one. I like to use that. We'll bring Torkoal here. And last but not least, this time we're going to go Primarina just in case we lose the Weather War. Because, obviously, Primarina in the rain. That's big time damage. Hyper Voice with Liquid Voice abil ability with a Third Spray. Damage is high. Damage is definitely high, but this matchup could be tough. It could be tough. We're 1-1. One one. Already grabbed ourselves a win. I love it. I love using off-meta teams, especially winning with off-meta teams. So going for a winning record, which would be dope. Definitely would be dope. So first match was decently close. The Torkoal outsped us. Second match came down to the absolute wire. The last turn, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, we ended up taking it, which is huge. And now we're sitting here. Corviknight alongside with Incineroar. Um, they're probably going to try to fake out Apple Pie. Um, they could go for knockoff. I might just Terrastalize into Dark just to guarantee me getting off this uh, Trick Room. I think that's just a simple smart play. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Terrastalize into Dark. Like I know there's a hot chance that you fake out my Apple Pie, but there is also a slight chance that you just disregard the fake out and you go for knockoff into Pulte Guys. And Trick Room is the most important aspect in this matchup, so I, I got to get off Trick Room. I have to. It's a must. It's a must. It's, there is a chance that your Corviknight does have Taunt. And that could be... That could be sad face. That could be real annoying. But I think we should be fine here. Let's see. What you got? We might be going for a bulk up or something. Protect the pie. Protect the pie. And Iron Head's going to launch into you. you know, I think you're going for a knockoff here as well. Yep. This is exactly why I Terrasalize. This is exactly why I Terrasalize. You do take off my room service, which I really hate because I really wanted room service. But I'm able to get off Trick Room, which is the most important aspect. The Trick Room's here. Um, I'm not going to kind of focus on you. Tea Time's going to go second, which kind of sucks because we do not have that room service anymore. 
but this was still a solid call for us. I'm gonna go for tea time. I'm trying to set up this apple pie, and hopefully they just take out my Pulte guys after this turn. That's really what I want. I really would just want Pulte guys to die after it gets off tea time. It's just like, all right, we had enough. We had enough tea time. We had enough Pulte guys time. Get it off the field. Let's get out to work or something. The Dragon Pulse gonna launch. It is going to do decent damage. Not bad. Not bad. And tea time. Everybody take a sip. I love like the thing. It's tea time. Everyone dug into their berries. Right, been gonna come out here. Really want that room service, man. Would love for him to go first, but weed up on that berry. He's got a berry as well, <laughs> so we kind of do them a favor. And knockoff's gonna find an apple pie, and we still we we use our item, which is good news. And the body press flies, and the chaos pulled again. So exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Now we can bring out Torkoal. Um, Eruption does great damage. I could double down into this Incineroar slot. There is a chance that they have Pelipper, though. Paloops could come out here, right? Paloops could definitely come out here, but I, I still feel fine with going into Torkoal this turn. I still feel fine with going into Torkoal. Now, who, who would they swap? I would think Incineroar would be the swap. So I'm going to Dragon Pulse this slot. Now I'm just going to erupt. And the reason I want to attack the this, this slot that uh, Torkoal would, or Pelipper would be going into is because of... Because uh, if I KO it, I, I should be fine. And wrong slot, man. Wrong slot. That really hurts the soul. Wrong slot. <laughs> wrong slot really hurts the soul. But still, I think after an eruption, I think I could just go into a Dragon Pulse and finish off Pelipper. But how much damage is doing? Negative six. Paper Tails. Hey, but we do get a crit, however, onto the Incineroar. Dragon Pulse, can you finish this thing off? Plus two. Apple pie. So close yet so far. Knockoff flies here and does great damage. He gets a crit. And I might just leave Torkoal in the field. And just leave the rain. I'm just going to leave the rain, to be honest with you. I'm just going to leave the rain. The reason I want to leave the rain is because, again, I got Primarine in the back end. Instead of wasting out Trick turns and just trying to get weather control here, let's just, uh, let's just roll with it. Let's just roll with it, because I can take out this uh, Pelipper right now. I can definitely take out this Pelipper with Dragon Pulse. It's not as bulky as this Incineroar is. It is not as bulky. Let's see what they choose to do here. Earth Power launches, and they choose to just attack, which is good. So, bye-bye Incineroar. That's nice. I think we'll have another turn left in Trick Room after this. And Dragon Pulse launches. Should KO. It should KO. Come on, Apple Pie. Do him dirty. Apple Pie doing doing some work. Alright, so we should have one turn left in Trick Room. I believe so. My calculations are correct. And they're gonna have Corviknight and Archaludon. That is that is that it? Is that what you're rocking with? Yep. So Corvo, Arch Luna come out here. Um, one turn's left in Trick Room. We might as well Earth Power. We just double down the Arch Luna. I feel like Pre Marina can kind of deal with that Corvo Knight. I'm going to double down. Plus, Corvo Knight might have Protect, whereas Arch Luna probably doesn't have Protect. It's probably Vested. It. That's really where my thought process is. So, I'm going to double down this Arch Luna. Especially with two special attacking moves. Really good for us. Really, really good for us. Hmm. Go ahead, protect Corviknight. Do a little protect action, Corvo. I think Corvo might go for an iron defense here. Or bulk up. Could be scary. Earth Power launches, does solid damage. Apple Tongue. Can you do it? Can you take out this Archer Ludon? You're plus two, baby. Power of Apple Pie. Apple Ton is the man. He's the man. He's the goat. He's the goat. Iron defense pops out of here. We're now sitting in a 2v1. Um, I think I swapped Torkoal. I think I swapped Torkoal just to pose that, that threat. I think I have to swap Torkoal. We could go for the lower special defense stat. I am going to do that. Let's see how much damage Flamethrower can do. Let's just see. It's super effective. It's stab. We don't have Charcoal anymore. And he's going to swap typings, which honestly could be really good for us. Gonna be really good for us. He's gonna go into straight fighting. Straight fighting here. 
Potty press doing some damage. He's gonna go after the apple pie, aren't you? Go for my Torkoal. Take out my Torkoal. No, we don't. Apple pie soaks. That's a big time soak, apple pie. Apple acid flying. Doing great damage. Beautiful damage. You mirror armor. I totally forgot about that. But I mean, we're, we're sitting in a pretty solid position. Flamethrower does ooh, a little bit of damage, but we can out earth power in that slot. So I can just go for another apple acid and an earth power and say, night, night. Good game. Apple pie pulling out a winning record. Oh my God. I love you, apple pie. I love you, apple pie. More than anything. More than anything. Torque will survive it on two. We got one HP bandits around here and... In apple ton fashion, he's picking up the final KO. Wow, wasn't expecting to grab herself a winning record, but we did. 2-1 for today's video. So guys, we got off to a slow start with today's team. Ended up losing match number one, but match number two and match number three showcased the power of this squad. Appleton going crazy with Pulte, guys. Really cool off meta combo that worked really well up against some meta teams. So again, very happy with the result. We go two and one for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.